Defense Tower Defense 6 has 22 unique towers. Each tower has three paths. Each path has five unique upgrades. That means Balloon Tower Defense 6 has 330 unique upgrades that you can buy. However, upgrades are locked to certain paths and towers, so you can't get the exact upgrades that you want. But what if you could? What if I put every single ability out on a piece of paper and then I was able to pick my favorite T1 upgrade, T2, T3, T4, T5, and so on to make the strongest tower in the game. If you guys want to see us turn this into a series where I make custom towers based off of the strongest abilities, make sure to hit that like button. So the first thing that I need to pick is a base tower that I'm going to have my upgrades on. I think obviously the strongest 0-0 tower is the Super Monkey. The Super Monkey has really good range and it's just super crazy attack speed. So I think we're going to start with the Super Monkey. I have to find the strongest T1 upgrade. Let's see, improved ranks can pop up to 8 balloons is not bad. Bigger bombs? That would be kind of cool because it would give us explosion. Faster reload? I don't- let's see. I, what if I get more tax? Does that mean I shoot 10 tacks? Does that mean it gives me 10 projectiles right at the start? That might be that might be the play. That might be the option where it just gives me 10, 10 projectiles right at the start. Added twin guns doubles attack speed, enhances ballistic missiles. So that just doubles attack speed. So I don't think that's really important. Or do I want to get Thorn Swarm? Shoots eight thorns per shot instead of five. Okay, I think that's what I'm going to get. So for my first one, or do I want... Yeah, so my, for the T1 upgrade, I'm going to pick... Thorn Swarm. For the T2, I don't even think it's a question, or it could be a question. So I either think I want to get air burst darts, or I want to get, oh, do I get air burst darts, or do I get double shot? So double shot doubles ship weapons fired. So if I'm shooting eight thorns, that means I would be shooting 16 thorns each, which is kind of crazy. I Or do I go with the option of getting getting air burst darts because air burst darts could be also completely insane air burst darts split into three on impact for massive popping power that's kind of insane because he's going to be shooting th super fast and he's going to be each one is going to split into three in on impact oh so do i get so each one would split into three i uh i'm gonna go my gut says go a double shot I, that might be a mistake, but I'm gonna go. I'm gonna get double shot for my T3. I think I'm gonna go never miss targeting. I think that might be the play. Never miss targeting is just crazy. Or do I get like dragon's breath? Because T3 is really. Oh my gosh. What if I go Robo Monkey? If I get Robo Monkey, he'll be shooting out. Oh, brutal. I don't know if I want uh, double shot. Throws two shurikens. I don't think I want that. I don't think I want that. And remember, since I went double shot, it doubles any projectile that I have. So I could go spike a pulp, right? So it changes all of it into spikes. I could go triple shot. Oh my gosh, triple shot would be crazy. Glaive ricochet. Oh my gosh. I think I'm going to go glaive ricochet. I think, I think I'm going to get glaive ricochet for my T3. T3 glaive ricochet t4 i think without a doubt i want to get recursive cluster so i that might be just so laggy that might be just so laggy but i think that's the option here i think that's the play is there anything else that's gonna be remotely good for that i i don't think so i don't think so i think i get i think i get recursive cluster now for the t5 the t5 is probably gonna be the hardest decision to make i i probably want i have so much attack speed right i think i want something that just gives huge damage right i could just do a moab limit oh what if i make it all mad rockets oh my gosh what if i make it all mad rockets holy cow oh my gosh moab is sure slower because that means they'd be throwing all mad rockets i think that's the play i think i do i think i make an mad that's so broken yeah, I'm gonna do MAD. Let's do it. MAD. We're gonna see how actually OP this tower is. Is it just an idea that I had or is it actually completely nutty? There it is. Custom Super Monkey. So it does cost the $2,700. So I'm gonna be a weenie and drop a cash drop because I want it. I want it. All right, here it is. Oh my gosh, that looks so cool. 
So it's just a normal super monkey right now. So right now we can get thorn swarm. So it shoots eight thorns instead of five. So is it, oh my gosh, holy cow. Look at how powerful that is. That's so broken already. And this is just the T1. This is literally just already broken. It's already busted. One thing that I realized, it doesn't have any camo detection or anything like that. It's just pure damage. We actually had to change it to Bloom Crush because Recursive Cluster literally just lagged the game so bad, it crashed it apparently. So my modder actually changed it around and they thought that this would be better. So huge shout out to my modder, Dat Jane Doe. And remember friends, if you wanna see us do more videos like this, where we try out custom abilities, maybe we can do a competition with another YouTuber where we challenge them, they get to pick their abilities and I pick mine, and then we both get to create a custom tower and then we battle to see whose tower would be stronger. I think that would be so cool. Meow, village. And then... Oh, no. Look, we're so close to the radar scanner. Boom, radar scanner. All right. Let's... Uh-oh. I need MIB. Will I have enough for MIB? No, I won't. Ah! My OP tower. It can't pop lead balloons. That's embarrassing. That's... It, see, here's the thing. But look at how, look at how fast it attacks. That's absolutely nutty. And done. Now we have nothing to worry about and I can sell this guy. All right, so what happens if we get double shot? Is he gonna just shoot double? Oh my gosh, look, there's shurikens now. And now we can get, so the next one is Glaive Ricochet. So every single one, so it's, this is shooting 16 shurikens now. So now, oh my gosh, look at these. Every single one of these just go to a balloon. Holy cow. That's nutty. As we can just skip however many rounds we want. It doesn't even matter anymore. The next one is we can just buy Balloon Crush. So we can buy Balloon Crush. Oh my, look at this. He just, boom. Oh, that was a Moab. And then the next one is every single one of these become MAD rockets. All right, there we go. These, oh, look at that. Look at how many MAD rockets he shows up. Boom, boom. This is so cool! We're on, okay, we just need to skip up to like the crazy round. I wanna see, what can it do? Oh my gosh, it lags the game so bad. Oh my gosh, it just re- Did I just, did I make too powerful of a tower? It looks like it's actually a mixture between all of the things that we put on it. Oh my goodness, it's going at one frame per second right now. So look at it, it's going right in the line. So that's the Glaive Ricochet. The Glaive Ricochet is bouncing to all of them as an MAD rocket. So it's an MAD rocket. There's 16 MAD rockets and that's being shot every like m second because of the super monkey. And then it hits. And every time each one of those MAD rockets hits a balloon, it then explodes with Balloon Crush, which stuns balloons and deals massive AOE damage, also doing the, the MAD, and then ricocheting. And every time it ricochets from the Glaive Ricochet, which can bounce up to like a hundred different balloons, it does that for every one at 16 times every little second. This tower is busted. We're at round 500 and it just freezes the game. Oh no, what have I done? Oh, oh no. My game crashed! <laughs> if you want to see us do this challenge again, hit that like button, subscribe, turn on notifications, and we'll see you tomorrow for some more awesome content.